toast. Woo! Alright, go ahead and dilate the things, okay? Yeah. What's up, Yava fam, and welcome to today's TOTD. Yo, fam, I already forgot what we want to talk about today. Oh, here it is. I remember. I was just in pre TOTD prayer, and there have been some things that the Holy Ghost has been dealing with me personally about that I know will benefit you guys. You guys can grab a hold of this, you guys can apply it to your life. Well, what is that, Avio? Well, here it is very simply. Remember a while back ago, we talked about resolves. Having this thing on the inside of you to say, no matter what I am going to do XYZ or I am not going to do XYZ. You guys remember that TOTV? Well, it's along the same line, but in regards to mentality, which if you guys have listened to the last The Apostolic Podcast, we talked about having an unlimited mentality. A mentality that does not limit God or box him up to our ideologies, trains of thought, ways of thinking, etc, etc. The truth is, everything that you are right now is because of how you think. It's because of who you are. It's because of your experiences and what you've allowed them to dictate to you. Uh-huh, that's the truth. Think of Moses. When Moses was in Egypt, right before he fled and ran to Midian, what shaped his mentality was what he was taught by the Jews, by his parents, his associates that were Jewish. They taught him that he was a Jew, while Egypt taught him the ways of Egypt. So at the time of his own personal exodus from Egypt, Moses was a product of his environment. So our mind, our mentality is shaped by our environment. Moses' mentality, Moses' environment could have been the catalyst for him to do what he did to the Egyptian. Murder him, cold blood. Then the next day, because Moses was the deliverer, he came to stop a quarrel between Jewish brothers. Will you kill me like you killed the Egyptian yesterday? Said one of the fighting fellows. And Moses took off running. That's just a little example of one being a product in their environment of Egypt and knowing that he's a Jew, knowing that he was a called one. Chosen one, Moses, the deliverer. And acting and expressing ourselves as such. You guys can see that? Moses, the called one, just doing what he's called to do. And in that, it expresses and shows to us how he is a product of his environment. And all throughout scripture, all throughout human history, we see that you are indeed a product of your environment. And like we talked about in the Apostolic Podcast, you're not limited to your environment change your mind. You can change your mentality. And see, Abba fam, that's what the Holy Ghost wants for us. He wants to take us to a level of unlimited thinking that has never been thought of before, never been done, never been trailblazed, tested, or proven. He wants to take us there and show us that, hey, I am the God of the impossible. I make the impossible possible, and I want to demonstrate for you. If you come do business in gray waters, you're going to see my mighty works. And you know what, Abba fam? This is how I personally feel. The last day revival, the big revival that's gonna sweep the world, if it is God's timing, will be upon our shoulders. That means that we have to resurrect the book of Acts, the miracles, the signs, the wonders, the power, the demonstration of the Spirit of God. We have to bring that back. It's our responsibility to do so if we're gonna have the revival on our shoulders and then grow it and do more in these last days. See greater miracles, see a greater harvest. Have each one of us reach more than we've ever thought possible. Just imagine if we had 100 people who got all radically apostolic crazy and witnessed to a thousand souls a year or prayed through a thousand souls a year. In 10 years, that's a million people filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name from a group that was smaller than the day of Pentecost in the upper room. Only a hundred people. You have more followers on Twitter than that. You see what I'm saying? But it's not going to happen if we hold to our old mentality, to limited thinking, to box thinking, saying that the limits and parameters that are set right now, that's the max. No, 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 no. We cannot live there. If you feel called of God in the 21st century, you've got to unlimit your thinking and go as far out as God is and will allow you to go in the Holy Ghost and fulfill the will of God. Well, we were talking about all this big stuff, mentality shifting, thinking outside the box. How do we do that? Honestly, take a look at my fingerprint. You probably can't see it. If you can imagine, a fingerprint. Is that one yours? Is this one yours? No, it's mine. The body is fitly framed together. So my gifts and callings and my ideas for changing the world are not your gifts and callings nor ideas for changing the world. God has something for you to do. God has something for you to accomplish and it's up to you to do it. I'm not gonna do it. Your brother's not gonna do it. Your sister's not gonna do it. Nobody's gonna do it for you. You gotta do it. And you have to be the one that dismantles mental parameters, mental limitations, 
completely eradicates them from your life to the best of your ability and it will take effort, will take work, will take sacrificing yourself, will take fasting, will take prayer, will take consecration, will take big thing, will take uncomfortableness, will take lack of being stable in life, it will take all that in order to do this. But they that do business in gray waters, they see the works of the Lord. And so when you break down those barriers, eradicate all that stuff, you then allow the Holy Ghost, God Almighty, to step into your situation and for Him to act out on the level that He wants to act out on and not the level that you limit Him to. Because if you say, God, you can only do this, you can only do that, you can only do this, and you give Him those mental parameters, you only give Him that much space to work in. It's like a dancer on stage. You give Him a little three foot by two foot, how in the world is going to dance? The dancer is limited to whatever you gave Him. But if you give Him a basketball field, a football field, you give Him that to work with, how much can He do? How much can be accomplished if you allow God a platform that has not been limited by ideologies, dogmas, ideas, trains of thought? What could he do? And that's what I challenge you guys to do today. That's what I challenge you guys to do in your life. Find out how you can change the world through prayer, through fasting. Unlimit your mind. Tear down those mental barriers. Don't think of the I can't. Think of what if it does happen. Tell yourself I can't. You guys see all that laced in Yappa 238. The TOTDs from way long ago to recent ones in podcasts, in Yappa Live, in all that stuff. You see what I'm talking about. And it's my heartbeat, it's the truth, and it's what I want for you guys. So Yappa fam, do something that's absolutely incredible. Do something that's amazing. Don't live life mediocre. Too many millennials, I see way too many millennials, fulfilling silly worldly dreams and ambitions. You see kids that found out about YouTube in 09 who are completely dominating the industry or space on YouTube right now. You tell a millennial who's 18, man, you can make $300,000 a year and they're just silly enough to believe it. You tell a kid who's never done a backflip before in his life that he could become the number one free runner on YouTube and he just doesn't have the ability to think that he can't do it. You tell a college dropout in 2012 that this social media stuff is the next big thing and he sees the data, he sees it right there in front of him, he sees that yes, this is viable and he's just too silly enough, crazy enough, unlimited enough to believe that he could do it and then just builds an Instagram and Instagram takes off. Off, and in less than two years, he's a billionaire. 13 people run Instagram, guys. 13 when Facebook bought him out. Less than 20 people. What would happen if us young apostolics, just 20 of us, decided to have a 2.9 whatever billion dollar impact on the world? What if we decided to do that? What would happen? How would this world be shaped and turned around for the gospel? It's not hype. This is who I am. This is how I feel. Coming at you very personally on today's TOTD. So yeah, the fam, what's in your life? What are you doing? What are you passionate about? What is the Holy Ghost calling you to? Don't limit him to your idea of what you think you should be. Oh, I think I should be this, and I think I should be that, and I think I should. No, no, don't do that. If he's calling you to be a doctor, awesome, great, be that doctor. But don't limit him to a little box, a little cube saying, I only could be this, I only could do that. God don't mess with me anymore because God's looking for a generation. God's looking for people. God's looking for apostolic young people that are willing to let those walls down and believe him for absolutely anything and watch him allow them to walk on the water and everybody else is in the boat. Everybody's staying behind. But you know, I'll be Peter. I'll take a step on the water, step out in faith, defy my mentality, defy the laws that are governing my life, such as gravity, and physics and water tension, all that stuff. I'm gonna defy that because Jesus is calling me out further than where I've ever been before. Yeah, fam, I love you. This message may not be for everyone, but I believe, I truly believe that there's gonna be a few that grab hold of this. They're gonna begin to mull over it, gonna begin to let it fester and foster in their spirits. And those who allow it to will be the ones who venture out into great waters and see the works of God, mighty exploits in the deep and by the hand of the Lord. I love you, Yappa fam. Be Yappastolic. Above all, above all, be apostolic. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's TOTD. Too many millennials. I see way too many millennials. Fulfilling stupid, I don't know what they are actually. Silly worldly dreams and ambitions.